October is National Bullying Prevention Month and Wednesday, October 23rd is National Unity Day. To show your support, wear orange on Unity Day to help stop bullying. Our school and community is coming together in one giant orange message of hope and support. And show that our society believes that no child should ever experience the effects of bullying. You can be a friend to someone by asking them to sit by you at lunch, uh, involving them in conversations, asking them if they need any help with anything. Uh, just be nice to them, treat them how you treat yourself. You can be nice to them, include them in things that you're doing, and you can have, give them someone to talk to if they need help. Just like be a, the person you would be to other people, like your friend group and stuff like that. Um, just being there for them, not only whenever you need them, just like all the time. I could go up to them and I could introduce myself to them and I could try to include them in as much stuff as I can. When I see them like sitting by themselves or something like that, I always just go sit by them. When they drop their stuff or something like that, I just pick it up and help them anytime I can, pretty much. Kind of just be kind to them and when they're walking down the hallway, just, you know, don't pick on anybody. Even though someone might be, uh, have a different opinion than you, or uh, see something differently. It's it, being nice harms no one, uh, and being rude harms more uh, unnecessary amount of people. My dad, my, my dad used to be in the Navy. He's retired now, but um, in the Navy we moved around a lot. Uh, there's the term army brat, uh, and so we move around a lot. And so I've moved from school to school a lot. So I was kind of used to it. There's always that factor of not knowing anyone and being anxious about your first day. But yeah, uh, people like Trey. Uh, Tristan Giddings, a, a lot of a lot of the a lot of people helped me, you know, feel at home here, feel comfortable. I was really upset one day on the bus, and one of my high school friends went up and sat with me, and I got in trouble for it, but he helped me out, and it made me feel better. Somebody uh, invited me to sit with them the first day, and uh, somebody also like showed me where my next class was after first hour. Yesterday, Miss P gave me a dollar because I didn't feel good to buy cupcakes, and that was really nice. In seventh grade, when I moved here, I had a group of people who kind of helped me just overall find my classes and stuff like that. You can include them in your friend group or let them sit by you at lunch, and you can play with them instead of your normal friends that you play with. If I see them in the hallway or whenever I see them, I could smile at them and tell them to have a great day and just check on them and stuff. Just talk to them. You can just be there for them. Help them with uh, whatever they're struggling with and try to get them through it. And uh, if they need somebody to talk to, I'll try to help them out the best I can. Um, if they're alone, just sit by them, talk to them, make them feel included. Just ask if they need anything, you know, hang out with them a little bit. You can invite them to sit with you at lunch. Uh, you can talk to them when they, they're just sitting alone over there sit by them and just let, let them know that you're kind of there with them. It don't settle real well in the stomach, you know. Uh, see, I've been there before, been picked on and stuff, and I, I don't like it. And they probably been picked on too, and they're probably just trying to hide something that they're guilt, feeling guilty or uh, ashamed of. Not very good, because no one deserves to be treated badly, because everyone is equal. It makes me feel like bad inside and it makes me want to step in and try to help them. It upsets me, like it makes me mad more than anything. They shouldn't be doing it in the first place. It's never okay to pick on somebody or bully somebody just because you think they're different. It makes me feel good because, uh, it makes me feel good about myself because uh, you, cause you don't know what's going on in that person's life at home and it can make their life better and easier if you uh, be nice to him. I would feel happy because even though that you might not like that person, you can you feel better because you might get to understand the person why you didn't like them in the first place. It makes me happy because I know like I helped them and it made them feel better and you don't know what they're going through. It gives me a good feeling uh, when I walk off to something that I've helped somebody good because I know I made their day better and I'm spreading the love of Jesus one person at a time. It makes me feel good that I made their day even better. It makes me feel good because that could be like that could make their day.